Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Martha Munizzi podcast. I'm Martha Munizzi, and I am so glad that you're watching this today. This is a video podcast and an audio podcast, so no matter where you're watching or listening, I'm so glad you're here, and I really want you to be encouraged today. This is a podcast that I started just a few weeks ago, and it's a podcast about everything. I've been inspired by so many other podcasts. I'm a podcast junkie. And um, I had a few things I wanted to say, things I wanted to share. And so I launched this podcast and I'm just so grateful that you've been following this and being a part of this whole experience. And uh, again, it's a podcast about everything. We talk about life. We talk about ministry. We talk about music, songwriting. Uh, We talk about health. You can see my beautiful diffuser. We talk about stress (laughs) and anxiety. We talk about the whole spirit, soul, and body. And we just, there is nothing that we don't discuss. And in the weeks and months to come, we're going to be talking about a lot more. And I have special guests. I have friends. We have great conversation. And really, it's an opportunity for you to just kind of listen into conversations that we get to have all the time. That I thought, this is good. We need to talk about this and let other people in on the things that we feel or that how, how we feel about some things and just share. And hopefully you'll be encouraged. You'll be challenged. You'll want to keep going. Maybe when you're feeling like giving up something that you hear and something that you see is going to inspire you. So um, I'm excited today because I am joined with two amazing people, my favorite people on the planet. And that is my daughters, Danielle and Nicole Munizzi. Uh, my husband and I, we have three children. These are our daughters. And this is Danielle, our Hello, oldest. Everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and this is Nicole. Hello. She's our middle child. And we just have so much fun. We've been in ministry together. They don't know anything else, you guys. Like, they know <laughs> church and music and travel. Yep. And they've gone all over the world. And I'm telling you, they have had a taste. I mean, they... They jumped, they, they were born and just went right into the deep end of ministry <laughs> from That's day true. one. It's true. I mean, literally, yeah. And uh, even when they didn't want to, okay, <laughs> even when they didn't want, even though it was, they wanted to do other things. Um, and it has been a joy to raise them. And in the podcast to come, we're going to be talking about some things, mother-daughter situations, maybe conflict, you know, raising teenagers, all the things that we really want to help you based on things we've come through. But this podcast, I'm so excited because we're about to release a brand new album. Yes. And you guys, I can't wait for you to hear it. It's called Best Days. And yay. And we wrote (laughs) eight brand new songs. It started off so small. Have you ever had a dream that started off so small that you thought it can't possibly be significant? And then God touched it and it just blew up. I'm telling you, that's what this record is really has been and can't wait for you to hear it can't wait for it to to be released and um, if you've already watched this and it's already out I hope you love it and this is a replay however whatever the process is best days is an album that I believe is prophetic it's it's going to impact you Um, it's a great set of songs to add to your worship arsenal I like to call it the arsenal of worship because Worship, praise is a weapon, so we just gave you more weapons to worship and sing with, and it's very prophetic, but I'm excited because we put together a great team of writers right here, (laughs) and our producer, the four of us got together, and we just started writing. We weren't writing for an album. Let me just tell you that we didn't start Best Days as an album. It was 2020, Yeah, Mm -hmm. and we were like, let's just get through this year, but God said, no, there's something more I want you to do, so... We're going to talk about that today and kind of give you a little behind the scenes of of what happened, how it all came to be, what culminated, how the songs came to live and be, breathe. But one of the songs that I want to talk about is is uh, the title song. And best Days. Best Days. Yeah. And I want you all to talk about it because you guys kind of brought it to the table. Now, uh, Danielle, why don't you start, kind of give us a little background about the song and how it came to be. Absolutely. Well, we, we talk about it too a little more in depth in another episode, but just really quickly with, with best days, um, there was just a season of, of a few weeks, maybe a month or so last summer that was so challenging. And I'm a very honest writer. Um, that's how I process my emotions, the way my personality is. Sometimes I process slowly, or sometimes it's hard to, you know, when you feel like you people can relate to this, like when you need to just sort through your thoughts and songwriting is an awesome tool to help me kind of do that. And so, um, yeah, there was just a season of time that it just was a lot of rejection, a lot of 
frustration and disappointment just back to back to back. And so I remember I sat down at my keyboard and, and I, I started to just sing and pray as I was just playing, like just playing the keys a little bit and just saying, God, please help me. Like, this just feels like the worst. How could it possibly get any worse? Like, God, you, this is maxed out. I'm maxed out on disappointment and frustration. Please help me. Um, and the Holy spirit, you know, he is who he says he is. He is our comfort. And I felt truly comforted in that moment as I just worshiped. I just gave my problems. I gave my concerns straight to God. And I was like, please, Lord, this is the worst. And I felt like the Holy spirit was saying it can be the best. Yeah. It could, it, it, could it be possible that maybe I'm doing something new that I'm doing wow. something different? So good. Yeah. And I probably said, no, I probably was like, <laughs> no, that, is it? No, I don't think so. It doesn't look like that. I, right. I, I, if you just look at what I'm looking at, God, this is, this is just too much heartache. Yeah. And, um, no, the Holy spirit just continued to be so faithful and comfort me in that moment. And I just began to kind of sing those lyrics just over my own self. That's mm-hmm. that scripture, you know? Can't you see I'm doing a new thing? And right now, yes, go read that. Go read that whole chapter. It's about how God, he's getting our attention. And even in the hard times. And if we look at the good times as, you know, just good, we'll miss out on the, we'll forget quickly. Like, you know, these times are so good and it's so sweet to, to, cherish these moments because we went through hardship. Right. And so the best days are better because we went through real hardship. And so I sang that just to kind of over myself, just that little chorus, which I think now is the verse. We always swap things around. (laughs) So that was originally just an idea. I I sang it a couple days later at a worship night at our church and we were just worshiping freely, just kind of had a spontaneous moment at the end of service. And um, the next day they were like, we need to work on that song. And figure something out. And so over time, Dave came to town, our producer, and that was an idea that we kind of put together with him. Yes. And you, you brought that course. These are the best days. He's doing a new thing. He'll bring uh, rivers to the dry land and waters to the wasteland. I think those are the way. Yes. (laughs) Great song, guys. I can't wait for you to hear it if you haven't already. Um, And it was just such a, I love that scripture. I have loved Isaiah 43, 19 for years and just trying to find a way to sing it is not easy and um but that was like this is it we're on our way and then as we worked in the studio together we were just again we were just trying to see what would come we didn't have uh it wasn't on our our calendar to do a live recording nothing like that no we were just writing to see what we could come up with we were just having fun and and a yeah in a pandemic (laughs) yeah in a pandemic and we could have just you know, I, I went through a season in 2020. I thought, let me just get through this year. Don't don't even make any sudden moves. Let's just pretend this year didn't happen, and then we'll put <laughs> all our energy into 2021. But God said, no, I want to do something now. And how amazing is it to be able to be said that in 2020, we didn't let a pandemic stop us. We actually, right. God did something right. so great before the year was over. Um, and as we sat in the room working, Nicole is, you know, we don't, Danielle and I, if you've listened to the other podcast and watched the other podcast, you know that Danielle and I have written together for years for a lot of other artists. And, and, um, I kind of taken her with me to trip on trips and writing sessions. And Nicole's never really seemed to be too interested in it. Yeah. But in the last few years, she's really become a great writer, which is so exciting. Both of them are fantastic <laughs> writers. N- uh, Nicole is just lately blossomed into becoming a writer and it's so much fun to watch I'm telling you it's so much fun to watch and we were sitting in our studio and Danielle was singing and David was playing and Nicole said uh I have this well you tell it you tell it well yeah it was it was crazy because um yeah I think it was our first day writing it was either our first or our second song I can't remember um but yeah Danielle starts playing singing that that section which was the chorus um initially and He's what he started playing on keys on the keys reminded me of a chorus that I had written this August. It'll be four years. Wow. Literally four years ago, which is blowing my mind. Um, I was in a season around four years ago. It was a really, really rough time. Um, and again, that's kind of like the theme. Like we keep writing all of these songs. Well, you you turn, you turn tough times into songs, songs. you know, especially creatives, you just take, anything you got out of your, yeah, your yeah. well. That's right. Yeah. And use it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Best, the best songs can be born through 
hardship, adversity, trial, right. the best things are born through those seasons. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Well, no. So he started <laughs> playing the chord progression of the chorus and I remember hearing it and it instantly reminded me of this yeah. chorus that I had tried to finish before. I would tried finishing that song. Yeah so many times uh, I'd sat down with my guitar and like try to like get a verse out try to get the bridge out whatever um but even down to the last line of uh I know what you said that these are the best days yeah. I had had that line I know what you said but I had not I didn't know how to finish it I had, what was did not he able say? to what did he say what did right. he say and so that was something that I was like really trying to figure out how do I finish this song how do I finish yeah. this song what did God say whatever and so I almost didn't say it. I almost didn't share that song because I didn't, you know, sometimes you like throw in stuff yeah. and you're like, let's try it. And it ends up being terrible right. or you almost didn't, but you were like, should I say it? You're and like I was tapping like, me. You're like, oh my God. That song? And then also that song? Had, that song? and I'm like, just say it, just, just say, say it, right. just throw it out. If it flops, it flops. If it works, it but works. But also exactly. when you're, when you're like, cause you had started the song and, and so I was like, well, maybe she should finish. Maybe, you know, like I'll let, you know, there's just those like ebbs and flows that you try to figure out with songwriting and stuff like that when you're with, when it's a collaboration. And so anyways, I sang it and I was like, and we could say, these are the best days. I know what you said. These are the best days. You're doing a new thing. Yeah. And everyone was like, I think that works. That's yes. Amazing. And it, it blew my mind that just the fact alone that David started playing the same yes. chord progression yes. that went perfectly underneath the, the chorus. Like that was the same chord yeah. progression I'd already kind of written. Right. It was similar to what I already had in mind for it. And then after that, uh, I think we, yeah, we, we finished the bridge, yes. but that it's just amazing because like Danielle was saying her, the section of the song that she started with was written in such a prophetic a, moment. Yeah. And in such a, a hard time. And then oh, again, right. the chorus as well was just like one of the hardest seasons I've ever walked through. And God put that chorus in my heart and yeah. dropped it in my spirit. And it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I was, I think more than anything, I was just blown away by how good God was that he, he kind of like gave us these little moments and we had these little like sections of songs kind of stored up yeah. in our hearts. And when God brought us all together, it was like, all right, here we go. This yes. is it. This that is the fits time. All, here, all the puzzle pieces are coming together. Yes. And that's what God does. And that's why this really should encourage you because wherever you are or whatever it is that, you know, you're asking God to do in your life, or maybe you feel like you have something you want to give to God and something you want to write, something you want to create, just be encouraged today. Yeah. Just hold on. Don't give right. up. God doesn't just give you things. So, well, sometimes he gives you ideas that really are just for you. Yeah. But many times it's just waiting. It's in the waiting that God does his best work. Yeah. It's in that season that you think God's far, far away. He's forgotten about me. I don't, I, I, I you know, I'm dreaming about these really big things and I shouldn't be dreaming that big. Yeah. Can I tell you the reality is you're not dreaming big enough. Yeah. That's the truth right there. I have literally taken walks and I, as I'm walking, just minding my own business, I hear the Lord say, you're thinking too small. <laughs> you're thinking too small. And I'm like, okay, Lord, but you're going to have to help me think bigger. And, and I believe that I, when I see the hand of God, when he shows up and yeah. manifests what I've been praying for, it always is, there's no measuring how much bigger it is yeah. than what I was thinking and what I was dreaming of. That's what the Bible says. It hasn't even entered into your mind the thoughts that God has for you. It's bigger than you. God's ways are bigger. God's yeah. thoughts are bigger. Yeah. And so when it comes to writing songs, you know, we, we go through difficult seasons. We go through disappointment. We go through times where people walk away and, and now we're in the land of disillusionment. Right. But through those seasons is when God does his best work. Yeah. That's right. And that's what yeah. we have to hold on to. That's why that scripture, Isaiah 43 is so strong because it says, he said, I'm, see, I'm making a way. Can't you see it? Right. And then if you can't see it, at least try to perceive it. That's what this whole record's about. Right. It's pushing us to say, okay, in my natural mind, everything looks bad, but God, in my knower, right. yeah. in my spirit, I know you're doing something great. And so I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to keep pouring out. I'm yeah. going to keep serving because God, you're making a way in the dry land. You're making yeah. a way water in the desert. That's right. Come on. There, there's not a bad season that you're going through that God can't make a way out of. And, and if yeah. I can add to, you know, this thought that you're sharing about God, you know, help me think bigger. I think sometimes 
especially as creatives or like if you know if you're a listener and you work in music or music ministry or songwriting or you want to be a songwriter I think sometimes when we think about okay Lord help me think bigger sometimes bigger doesn't necessarily mean you know more listeners right or top of a of a chart of a billboard chart or things like that in these last few years like when I originally came down with with that idea even when I could probably speak for Nicole when she was thinking about that we were we were just singing out of a place of despair or or longing for the Lord to just kind of help us process through those things and when you were sharing a moment ago I just I got the picture in my head and I'm I can't reference it perfectly so I'll just explain it the story in the scripture about how there's a shepherd that will leave the 99 sheep to go after the one that went stray. And math in the in the Bible is not like the math that we use. And what we count as tens or hundreds or, you know, we, we look at importance. We put numbers as, as a high level of importance, like views and plays. I know I, I, I think about that too in my own music and my own adventures and maybe you do too you know how many views does this video have how many plays does this song have you know how many people came to church on Sunday and all that but what God is doing maybe right now he's saying think bigger because he's just trying to connect you to that one that's right that that's one right. that's so discouraged that one that one that might lead you to the next 1000 yeah. yeah. you know that one person or that one encouragement maybe you just need to share it you know with you when I shared that idea of best days I was like that's this is encouraging to me and I just felt in the, at our worship service, I just wanted to share it. It wasn't a giant group of us there. Yeah. It was just the the smaller faithful group of people that came out still pretty much in the middle of the, yeah. of the pandemic. It was, yeah. And, and I think that sometimes, you know, it's an opportunity for us to think bigger. Like that scripture says, can't you perceive it? Like I'm, I'm not just connecting you to numbers. I'm connecting yeah. you to each other. That's yeah. right. That's right. And, and that just reminds me of, so many stories that I've heard over the years of a song or a message that inspired one person and that one person inspired the world. Right. Right. You know, one person, your song ministered to one person that affected millions of people. That's, that's a story that, you know, I am not at liberty to give all the details, but that's happened. I mean, somebody that just a a pastor friend of ours who went on uh, television in his little town, didn't understand why God was requiring it and spent a whole lot of money to do it and went on a television in their little town and happened to be a young woman that walked that was in a hotel room and turned it on and listened and the next week went over and was ministered went to the church just to sit in and walked up to the pastor and said you've just really inspired me to keep moving Mm -hmm. and ended up down the road ended up being one of the top gospel artists that is who they are today because that message brought life to them Mm -hmm. and opened up the world to them. I mean, you just don't ever know what God is leading you to do. You just have to say yes. Right. You just have to do it. You don't know if it's, and here's the, here's the thing. And you guys can speak to this. And I speak to a lot of people that are younger, twenties, thirties, forties, and you write a book, right? You, you, you do something, you put your EP out, you know, you write a song and we just think that that's the biggest part. Like if I could just write it, we don't understand that's the smallest part. Yeah. It's everything that mm-hmm. comes after that. It's Absolutely. the testing. It's the trials. You know, it's the warfare. Yeah. It's the opposition. It's the it's the growth, the personal growth that you have to do to really be able to have the capacity to carry what God's given you. And a lot of people yeah. really drop it. They, they, they kind of drop the blessing. They don't really uh, manifest everything God has for them because they thought my, my assignment was just to put it out there yeah. and then disappointed that it didn't have the impact that they thought it would have, but you got to do the work. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, like you, you have to, to, to really, you know, bear down and say, I'm in this for the long haul and, and learn and grow and steward what God gives you. Well, it's not, yeah. you know, the, the out making the album might be on your bucket list, writing the song, but it's also saying, God, I'm going to steward what you've given me. Now I'm, you're, you're going to have to give me wisdom, but I want to get this to the world or as far as you want me to take it. Right. So the work starts absolutely after the dream is birthed. Absolutely. Right? And, and right. that's one of the things that I, I you know, I, I kind of sit back and smile when people say, but I did what God said, and now I'm waiting to see how many likes I get. I'm like, well, <laughs> you might be waiting. It's, you know, you did yeah. your part, but there's more to do. 
Can I tell you, I have two daughters up here that I've raised since they were born. That's why they're my daughters, obviously. Um, but <laughs> sure we've gone so. uh, right. <laughs> we've gone through a lot of seasons, good and bad. There was a season. Um, Danielle's always been a lot more cooperate, cooperative than. Um, then I'm kidding. Nicole has had, uh, when she was younger, no, 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 now it's different. But when she was younger. Is that the case, really? Are you sure story, about baby. that? Yeah, which story are you telling? No, yeah, but when it know. came to, <laughs> when it came to <laughs> giving away her gifts, she was, I think, at like a 10, 11, oh, 12. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell oh, it right. Oh, now she okay. says, oh. I'm going to tell All it right. right. When it. she was younger, uh, I had to make her sing. And I could hear her singing in her room, so I knew she could sing. And I remember, Explain make her. Explain that to the people. Uh, make her. <laughs> it's called force. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for, for people well, that like are watching she was this, resistant. Yeah, that think that, you know, well, my kids don't want to. What does that mean, don't want to? If I want you to, you're doing it. And I know that's not popular. I really don't care. Because if my mother had not made me play the piano mm -hmm. and sing at a young age, I wanted to quit everything. If she had not forced me, in other words, get up there, sing, get yeah. out there and do it. You're doing it. You're not quitting. Yeah. Through tears, through fighting, I would not be who I am today. Yeah. Thank God she didn't let me quit. So I wasn't going to let my girls quit. Well, we had been traveling so much and we had homeschooled. So there wasn't a school or a church that they were really a, a part of. And so you guys were getting a little older. I felt like I had missed the window mm. of really getting you guys where you were exercising like plugged and, in and plugged developing, in, developing yeah. your gifts. Yes. And so you had started leading worship around 12 or 13 at a youth group and using your gifts and yeah, I was a little older. I wasn't that talented. 14? No, <laughs> yeah. no. You were you great. Right about 15, 14 or 15. Okay. Yeah. But I will say, in Nicole's defense, dad did force me. He, he heard there were auditions for the youth team. And yes. I said, I, I'll go sit in. And then when I got there, I chickened out. And he did everything but shoved me out of the car into, uh -huh. the, into the church audition. We believe so. in, in pushing and shoving. And then <laughs> um, one day I was on the phone. Because I was, I don't think I was working. Well, anyway, I, I took Nicole to a youth group it was like 40 minutes away i mean i'm i don't care what it takes right moms I, my right dads i'm gonna get my kids wherever they need to be so that they can grow even if i have to drive and sit for two hours and wait for them and i did that for a couple years yes she did and i remember i took nicole and the whole way to the youth group service I said, Nicole, you know, you need to start thinking about using your gift. Danielle's well, leading. Yeah, at this point, Danielle was in charge of the entire youth worship. I'm pretty sure. If you weren't in charge was. yet, you were about to be. Something she like that. Remember. Probably. And Nathan was already playing drums. At, you were probably going to say that. But Nathan at was playing like drums 10, at like 11, 11 years 11 old to, yeah. for the youth, the main youth group. And it so was anyways. not easy. Yeah. It was not easy because a little a attitudes, lot of flair, all that <laughs> stuff, you know. And so I remember I'm driving with Nicole. I'm like, I said, Nicole, Nathan is playing drums. Your sister's playing key. She's leading. You need to use your gift. And I would go to rehearsals just to sit there and watch. And would not yeah. cooperate. Nope. So she just folded her arms and said, Mother, I don't want to do it. I did and not. And I said, Why? I didn't want to do it. Why would you be this way? You need to use your gift. I'm not going to do it. And I never, <laughs> she's always been so compliant and just easygoing. I'm like, what is going on with you? And she said, you know, I don't have to sing just because you sing. Did I really say oh, you, that? Oh, 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 you said it. I believe uh, it. Yeah, I think uh, I and believe I, that now. I, I got really calm on the outside. Inside, I was so mad. And I said, <laughs> what makes you think that? Who told you that? Yes, you do. Me. I told myself that. You do. If I say you're singing, you're singing. And let me tell you this. And she got so upset. I ended up having to just stop, stop the conversation. But I said, why would God give you a gift that you just didn't use? He should have given it to somebody else. He wasted it on you. I was so mad. <laughs> And she was like, <laughs> it's true. Tears. Well, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. So I was so mad. And so we pull up into the parking lot. We get out. She walks out. She's mad at me. And I'm behind her. I'm mad at her. She walks into the, the room where the kids are meeting. And the guitar player had his back to us. He was on stage. He was sound checking. He turns around. And he doesn't even speak to me. He sees her. Hey, Nicole. She goes, hello. He said, hey, you want to lead worship with us tonight? And she said, okay. <laughs> She, I thought, what Sell just happened? Out. What just happened? Yes. Oh my God. And I thought, you know what? Sometimes it just takes the right people, but it's important. It takes that, not being your mom. I know that's probably when it's true. just, when it's someone else that's like, not that you're not cool, but he was kind of cool. cool. He played guitar and environments, you know, environments are, leaders, but environments so. are important. Yes. Yeah. Knowing, yes. you know, 
a good place, a good environment. And if you don't have one or if there's not an opportunity for you to develop, yeah, yeah. find an either find a new place or find another place yeah. to develop because your gifts, I believe your gifts are on loan from God. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. when we get to heaven, God's going to be like, here's how you did. Yeah. And it's not an idea that, you know, I don't, I don't believe that you have to be perfect or there's some kind of measure of success. I just think there, the, these amazing earthly gifts, like Nicole's gift of singing is something that was, was given to her because not everyone can sing. No, it's true. Everyone can learn how to sing That's or true. learn about singing. Or but, worship well, sometimes. And, I will and say, for her, well, for you, it was yeah. natural. Like you, yes. you would kind of, I remember you wouldn't hold the mic up to your mouth and we'd get in arguments about put the mic up to your mouth. <laughs> it was but natural. you had a natural gift to sing. Yeah, but I still, I feel like I could have been further along if I had started sooner. I still feel like it took me a second to really yes. like, but I mean, I guess in my confidence. Yeah. Well, but no, I, I, get, I hear what you're saying though. No, no, it's, it really is incredible. And, and now, you know, this conversation has kind of turned a little bit because we didn't, we knew what we were going to say, but we always want to be spirit led too. Um, because I know there are people that are watching this or listening to this. Maybe you have young children or, or teenagers that are, might be driving you crazy that you see the potential in them. You see what they're capable of doing, but they just won't listen to you. They won't cooperate. I just encourage you just to be strong, be the authority in that house don't let your kids talk you out of what you know is true. <laughs> put them in school. Put them in. I mean, put them in a good. Put them in church. Right. Get them in a good youth group. Yes. Whatever it takes. Get them in. You said it. Get in. A, get them in an atmosphere where they can hear from the Lord. They can hear uh, from the Holy Spirit, and they yeah. can grow and develop and utilize their gifts. Get them in a. Get them serving in their church. Yeah. Find a place for them. That. And you know the reality is. They don't even have to be called in the beginning. Like you don't like cl- pick up, pick up trash. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Clean the toilets. Vacuum. Right. Vacuum. Get your kids involved. You know, run a, run a camera. Yeah. You know, be somebody that's willing to, to run around the church and vacuum, whatever yeah. it is, get your kids, ser- let them see you serving. Let them see. This is what we do as that's a family. Yeah. We yeah. serve. We, cause I'm going to tell you the future and the fruit that will come from that is the most sweetest fruit you'll ever taste. And it will change not just your life, but your children and their children and and the, the future of so many others because they see your family flourishing and they see your children. Fa- doesn't mean they won't have moments where they, they might fall off and, and go down the wrong path. But if you just stay faithful, God's going to bring them back. You just keep praying for them. And if, you still, if they still live in your house, man, they got to do... What you say, I'm just telling, now we have freedoms, of course, but when they're younger, man, d- d- get them in church. Don't let it mean, I remember uh, a few years ago, I was talking to a lady and she said, I don't know what to do. My kids won't go to church. I have a son who won't go to church. And I said, well, how old is he? He's 13. I said, how is he <laughs> even able to have a choice? Well, I don't want to fight with him. I said, well, that's your problem. Yeah. You're going to have to fight him sometimes. You're fighting the devil, yeah. not him. He's not the devil, but you're fighting the devil's plan that wants to steal and kill and destroy. Yeah. So you're going to have to say, son, this is what we do. Yeah. Daughter, girl, we go to church and we're faithful. So I want, I want that to encourage you tonight because, you know, when you hear the songs in this record, just know that through conflict and tears and good days and bad days and beautiful seasons and hard seasons these songs came together from these girls heart their beautiful ability to write and hear the lord and they encourage thank you they they do they they're going to encourage the world (laughs) and i just cannot wait for everybody to really not just hear the songs but to where they're saturated they're songs you can just sing and they're a part of your everyday yeah. worship experience that's so important because i know that it was through a lot of blood sweat and tears that these songs were birthed yes and uh, it's just the beginning and they have a lot of great songs they've written and they're artists in their own right and you can you can follow them on instagram tell us tell everybody that's watching where they can danielle tell us where we can find you and you can find you. me at nicole joy no i'm just kidding <laughs> you can find me at danielle again uh yeah you can find me uh yeah on instagram at danielle again or on spotify and itunes and all that fun stuff uh, danielle munizzi and yeah i've got Great some music. new music on the way i've got some og music on there but uh yeah just have a lot of fun writing stuff and doing different things and nicole what about got you, some Nicole? Music. You can find me at Nicole Joy 
on Instagram, Spotify, also Nicole Minazi, Nicole Joy Minazi. Those are the three options <laughs> of my name. <laughs> uh, but Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube, um, Facebook, all of those, all the good stuff. All those stuff. places, all those uh, platforms. And then you can find this podcast. Obviously, you already found it, but um, it's going to be streaming on several different platforms. But we're grateful that you joined us. You can actually find uh, all of our music. It's streaming on Spotify, Apple, everywhere. 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 Um, you can follow me, Martha Munizzi, uh, on Instagram, Facebook. We have our own um, YouTube channel that you can follow. And then just stay connected with this podcast because we're going to be talking to some really interesting people, some friends. Um, in the next few weeks, we've got people that we're going to be connecting with. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be talking about health and fitness, anxiety. We're going to be talking about worship leading, songwriting, so much more. I mean, I've got some really, really exciting guests that you're going to want to hear from. And I know that it's going to be something that's going to just be an encouragement to you. So thank you guys for taking the time to spend with us to learn a little bit more about best days. And we can't wait for you to get the music and enjoy it. Guys, have a great day.